To manage version sets in PlanGrid, you will need to log on to the PlanGrid website at www.plangrid.com from your desktop computer or laptop. As an aside, it is recommended that you use Chrome for your web browser. PlanGrid will work with other browsers, but it has been found to work best when using Chrome. Once you've gotten to the PlanGrid website, click on the Login button located in the top right-hand corner of the page and log in using the same credentials you normally use when logging in on your iPad. After logging in, you will be taken to the Projects page, which contains a list of all of the projects that you currently have access to. From the provided list, locate and click the project that you are interested in to open it up. So, for example, let's open up the Route 625 Bridge Replacement Project. Please note here, if you have a long list of projects, you can quickly and easily navigate to the project of interest by typing in the name of your project or a few keywords from the title in the search bar located at the top of the web page, and then click Enter to quickly pull it up. So, in our Route 625 Bridge Replacement Project, you're starting off at the project's dashboard page. This project overview, or landing page of sorts, allows you to stay informed about new tasks, sheet uploads, photos, comments, etc. Keep an eye on the latest information about overdue and unassigned work, and make sure your team is working from the latest version of Sheets and Docs. So, for example, in the case of this particular project, you can see that the chart for our team update status is 33%. This lets you know that not everyone on your project team has refreshed their project recently and may be missing out on plan sheet revisions, tasks, markups, or other important updates. If you notice that this percentage is off, you can quickly send an email or notify your team that they need to refresh to get everyone on the same version. Navigating to the toolbar located on the left-hand side of the screen, let's click on Sheets to go to the Sheets view in the project. As you filter down to your bridge set, you notice that you neglected to upload sheet 1 through 4 of your bridge set. So, you will first want to click on Upload Sheets in green, located in the upper left-hand corner of the Sheets view. This will open up a four-step dialog box that will quickly and easily walk you through uploading your additional sheets. First, you will need to decide if you need to create a new version or add the sheets to the existing version of the current set. For this instance, you're going to add to the existing version because these are just four pages from the original plan set that you forgot to upload. So you will select Existing Version and then AFC, which stands for Approved for Construction, before selecting Next to go to the next screen. Please note, the version you choose, Existing or New, is what dictates what your team members in the field will see. They will always see the most updated version of the plans, meaning the plans with the most recent issuance date will be visible while older versions will be stacked behind them, still accessible but marked as not current. Because of this, it's very important that you get the issue dates correct when you upload the revised sheets. For example, if you had uploaded sheet 7 on July 1st and then received a revision for that sheet on August 1st, you'd be able to see the revised version of that sheet, but the original version and its markups would still be part of the project records. To help visualize this, let's jump over to the Sheets view and take a quick look at an example of how this would work on Sheet B14. Note that by default, PlanGrid will always show you the most current version of the plan sheet, and this sheet has two versions. If you were to click back into the previous version of this sheet using filters, PlanGrid would inform you that you're looking at an older version of the sheet with this yellow banner across the top of my screen with the version noted in parentheses next to the sheet number. It will also allow you to compare it to the current sheet. This helps review changes, while always ensuring that you are in the most current set of plans. So now, back to the example. On this second screen, you will be prompted to upload PDF files from your computer or from a cloud storage system. For this example, you want to actually upload more than one page, so you will do a bulk upload by holding down the Shift key and clicking on each file that you'd like to upload. Please note here, it may take a couple of minutes to process the upload, but you'll receive an email once they're done. The third step in the process will appear once your documents have uploaded to PlanGrid. PlanGrid automatically labels your sheets based on the numbering in your original documents. With that said, 
it's recommended that you review the numbering to ensure that everything is accurate. To check the numbers applied to your newly uploaded sheets, in the list of uploaded sheets provided, review the number in the Sheet Number column to ensure it matches the numbering on your original files. If this number matches, you're good to go. If the numbering is incorrect, you can easily change it by selecting it, deleting the number, and then typing the correct number in the box. You can also bulk edit the sheet numbers by selecting the Check All box located in the upper left-hand corner of the Uploaded Sheets list, and then select Edit Sheet Numbers. You can then use the option to use the PDF file name as a sheet number. You can also edit or remove characters from the sheet numbers to clean up the numbering used by selecting Edit Sheet Numbers, Remove Characters, or Add Characters. Note that this is a particularly powerful tool if you're uploading lots of sheets at one time and will save you lots of time. Once you've reviewed all of the sheet numbers to ensure they're correct, scroll down to the bottom of the list to select Sheet Numbers Are Correct. The fourth and final step is to add sheet titles and tags to your newly uploaded sheets. To do this, you will first select the sheets with titles that you'd like to edit using the checkboxes located on the left-hand side of the provided list. You will then select to either edit the title, if one is filled in for you, or type in the preferred title for the individual sheets. Please note, you do not usually title the sheets, but this is an option available to you if you'd like to use it. At this point, you can also add tags. Tags are metadata associated with each sheet and are critical to navigating through the plans. To add tags to the sheets, you can navigate to the Tags box to add a new tag or tags, either using the bulk editing tools or sheet by sheet. So let's tag all these sheets as Bridge, and then add a few more tags to the other sheets. For this example, you can add tags to the specific sheets based on their content. After making sure that the sheets have been uploaded with the correct numbers, titles, and tags, you can then click Publish to Project to save and exit the project. You can also leave the uploads as unpublished if needed, and come back later to the Publish Log by selecting Sheets and then Publish Log located in the upper right-hand corner of the screen.